Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and today we're going to build a Lego mini Death Star using the Lowell Sphere. And when we're all done, it's even going to have a cool trench down the center. These are all the pieces we're going to use. In the description, I have included the piece count, name, and design ID. For the inside of our Death Star, we're going to get a 4x4 light gray plate. And then on top of that light gray plate, we're going to put some just regular size bricks. And you can use light gray or black. I'm using black just because that's all I have. And by putting these on, we're going to get that height to make a trench in our Death Star. And then once you get those regular size bricks on, you're going to put another 4x4 plate. And then in the center of that 4x4 plate, you're going to put a 2x2 jumper plate. Now, we're next going to put in three Travis bricks. So just put those three Travis bricks on any three corners you want right now. And then once you get those three Travis bricks on, turn it over. And what you're going to do on this side, you're going to put four Travis bricks on their side. And the important thing is, is that you have studs on the ends where the walls are going to be. So you're going to have two walls and the bottom of your Death Star. So make sure you lay them on the side so that there are um, studs pointing on all the ends. All right, so I'm turning it over. And now that I've got this top side, I'm going to get a one by two hinged plate and then a one piece tile clip piece and put them together. Now on top of that, I'm going to get a dish and that dish goes onto the tile and this kind of the ray gun or the laser of the Death Star is now going to be put on that jumper plate diagonally. The bottom of our Death Star is a regular Lowell Sphere wall. And what you do is you get your 1x4 plate, your 1x2 jumper plates, you line up those studs near the end, and then you get a 2x2 corner plate. You put it on the center of the 1x4 and clip it sideways across the jumper plate. And you do that again to get the other side with jumper plate. And there's kind of a little trick. Once you get used to it, you can just simply put that jumper plate on. And you don't need to line them up. You get the feel. But just for this first one, I'm going to show you how to do that. You line them up so you know what it should look like and how they're lined up naturally. Now, once you have those two pieces, you put them together. You get a 2 by 2 plate, put it on top of the two pieces and you've got one wall or the bottom of your Death Star. The top of our Death Star almost looks exactly like a regular Lowell wall. We've got our four two by two corner plates. You've got a two by two plate to kind of hold them all together. The sides are gonna have these one by two jumper plates just kind of, you know, just slightly sticking out the side. And the thing is, this is not a very secure build until the whole thing is together. So you might have to move some pieces around and si um, shift them a little bit just to kind of keep their, their form. But now here's where we're gonna differ. We're gonna put a one by four plate at the bottom, just like we normally would. And we're just kind of working reversed here so um, it's easier to put on the pieces. But now we have a one by three plate that we just kind of put underneath and have it shoot out to the right and that's leaving the top left corner empty. This next part of the wall we're going to have to build three times. What you do is you get your two two by two corner plates, put them together. You get a one by two plate to hold those corner plates together. You're going to get a one by four plate and just put it across the top on the bottom of it. Then you're going to get your one by two jumpers and put those on the side of this construction, just you know, slightly jutting out. And again, you're going to get a feel for that as you build more of these walls. We're going to build the next part of our wall again three times. And just like before, you get your two by two corner plates and you put them together. You get a one by two plate to attach them so they stay together. And then you're going to get those one by two plates again. And this time you're going to put them underneath here where it kind of juts out. And now you're going to see as I put those one by two plates in how it looks more even and like a rectangle. Now we're going to get our one by two jumper plates and put them in the center. So this time, they're, you know, this jut out a little bit in the center of our creation. Now this next part, you want to be very careful that you do it exactly how I'm doing it. We have our two by two corner plates. We're putting them together. We're getting our one by two plate. 
to once again hold those corner plates together. We're getting our one by two jumper plates and putting them underneath and on the side down here so they just stick out a little bit. And now, here's where you gotta be careful, you get a one by three plate and you're gonna put it underneath here on the top but have it shooting out to the right. So you want a space here and it to come out on the right side. Once again, we're getting our two by two corner plates, put them together, getting a one by two plate and putting it on top to hold them together. We're getting the one by two jumper plates, putting them underneath, having them slightly jut out. And now, pay attention, you get a one by two plate and put it under the left side. And then just a simple one piece plate and that goes into the right side. So now we've got a hole on the right side of our wall. And now we may begin the construction of our Death Star. So we take our centerpiece here and you want to find the top wall that had that kind of notch taken out and you put that notch over where the radar disc is. So now you've got that nice little hole for the radar disc to fit into. And then on the bottom, we just put our regular Lowell Sphere wall in place. Now, once we have that done, got a good grip and it's just easier to handle, we have these special plates that we made. Remember with the little sides that were missing? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna match it so that um, the missing section is where the radar dish is. And now it's gonna be loose and because it's only attached to one Travis brick, but that's okay because once you get this thing connected, you kind of put it into the proper position so that you've got your nice little trench going on. And here I've got the other section that was missing, gonna connect it there and you got a nice, so you got a nice little space for the discs. And then for here, this is where you gotta pay attention. You can see that I've got the studs sticking out on the top. So the wall piece is gonna be the ones with those jumpers on the end that create a tile effect. And so I get to put that in place and it's gonna get a nice, little kind of um, circular ball sphere look. And then once again, now here I've got the uh, jumper plates creating the tile effect. So I'm gonna wanna grab a wall piece that has the studs on top. And so I just put that in place. And then as you can see, as I turn it around, how nice that looks all the way around. And the bottom, all you have to do is match it up. So here I've got a tile piece. So I wanna get another tile wall. And when I put that on, you're gonna see that it actually matches, oh, my trash break's a little crooked there, matches the studs on top. Let's just go all the way around and keep doing that tile the studs, stud to tile. So you get a nice sphere. And now that we're done, you can see this nice spherical Death Star with a trench that goes all the way around, just like we saw in the movies for the uh, final run on the Death Star. And if you want, you can get a translucent green rod, which is used for the lightsabers, put it in that disc, and now you've got a fully armed and operational battle station. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and you can click on the image to watch another video. Thank you.